Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave video, and it's midweek Aussie shave day. It's Wednesday here, and still the winter's dull winter's day. A little bit of sunshine did come out earlier on, but it's gone back under the clouds. So what are we using today? We're using an Etsy store um, product called All Body Soaps. It's a shave soap puck, so comes in a form of a, a firm soap. You can, you can press into it so it, it's not hard like a rock. So I can scoop it out off the edge or slice a piece off and press into spoon so I can measure the quantity out. This is a, a quarter teaspoon we're using which is about 1.3 grams, uh, 1.4 grams around there. And the scent on it is a lovely patchouli uh, scent with a little bit of a lemon in the background is what I get. Um, and it says a masculine scent of patchouli, lemon rind, rosemary and bergamot. And they just use essential oils so yeah, I don't get a lot of the um, citrus in the background. Um, and what else we're we using? We're using a new razor today. We're using the Wilkinson Sword Classic, the Plastic Fantastic, as you could say. It's a DE razor, and it's got a piece of metal in the handle that give it a little bit of weight. So three piece, no, it's a two piece razor, sorry. So it comes apart and the top cap is plastic. And I'll put a blade in there and, and I've got the um, uh, Wismet Super Iridium blade in there. So I'll just screw that back down. And we'll see how that shaves. And the brush we're going to use comes from Shave by Dave. It's called the Green and Gold. Or I call it the Green and Gold. It was made for the um, Australian in the Australian colours for uh, Commonwealth Games, the last Commonwealth Games. And in there, I've got a fan knot or the um, was it a 24 mil set to 55 millimeter loft. AP shave Sinbad knot. So we'll just stick that in my mug to get wet. It's not to get soaked, just to get some moisture in it. And we'll put the pre shave on. And going with the Natio Smooth Shave Gel again. So we'll put that on and we'll go over to the leather cam and produce the leather. Alright then, we're here at Leather Cam. As you can see, I've already got the quarter of a teaspoon of soap squashed in there. And what we're going to do today is do the same we did last time, only I'm going to use less water. I've got 12 mils of water this time. Last time I had too much water. So I call this the quick blooming method. So what I'm doing, I'm just stirring um, the water around and picking up some soap into the liquid so we make a soapy water just for about 30 seconds will do and I'll just pour that into a, a mug And suck it back up into my syringe. So there's about 10 mil in there left. So any drips left over, I'll pour back into the bowl. Pick up our brush, give it a squeeze and a couple of shakes. We'll get started.
79 mil. Beautiful. It's a lot of leather there from just a quarter teaspoon. All right then, we're back from making that lovely leather. Very nice. Much happier with this leather than I was on the last one with this method. You may wonder why you do this method. I said, well, just to try something different. So we'll just reweight the face. It's a method I use um, quite often with um, hard soaps, triple mill. And it works very well for them. Alright, uh, where's my alum? Put a bit of alum on my fingers. Get the bowl out of the way. There we go, beautiful leather. Wonderful scent, about a 6 out of 10 I call it. Wonderful soft knot, this uh, AP Shave Sinbad. I'll just put the ingredient list up here for your perusal while I put this uh, lather on. That's very nice. Alright, so with the uh, razor, here we go, first pass. Just a light touch. I get a bit of bit of blade feel. Doesn't feel aggressive. Feeling good. Working nicely this razor. Okay, that's the first pass. There's a lot of slipness left over there. It's a very um, slick lather I've got. This is a good soap for an Etsy soap. I don't normally get <laughs> many good uh, Etsy soaps, but this one's a good one. They tend to be a bit crafty and and they put a lot of olive oil in them, which tends to kill the leather. But this one doesn't have olive oil, I don't think. Uh, no, shea butter, steric acid, tallow, coconut oil, glycerin, castor oil. Very nice. 
Okay, across the grain. See if we can do a little bit of it in the camera on this side. Because lifting my head stretches the skin. So I, I shave like that, as you can see, all the, I will catch all those wrink, wrinkles and get lots of cuts. So I lift my head up high. And turn my head to the side, also stretching the skin. And for the cheek, I try and grab a little bit of skin and push it down. Oh, we're going across the brain now. Very nice, giving it a nice mild shave. Just a touch of blade fill, not a lot. Again, it's still very slick. Very nice soap. I don't think I paid much for this um, soap. I can't remember uh, what the price was. about 12 15 dollars I think I'll look it up and put the, the price in the notes Still plenty of lather left. Nice lather, still looking good. Very stable. I'll just put a little bit of more alum on my fingers. Not that I should need it too much on the plastic handle. Okay, against the grain. Again, I'll try and do as much as I can in the camera. This time I'm blowing the cheek out. If I don't blow it out, you see I've got a crease there that will catch that and again get another nick. Again, I'm um, pushing the cheek out and the tongue. Now I've got a two days growth, the last shave was on Monday. So
do need quite a little bit steeper angle it's a little bit more than 30 degrees probably about 35 40 Let's have a feel around. Yeah, a little bit under the nose there. Under the normal spots along the jawline. Pretty good otherwise. So let's uh, get that under the jawline. As soon as uh, the heat doesn't go into the nostrils you know, very well. Let's feel. Oh, it's pretty good. Just a touch there. I'm just going very lightly now. That feels good. Wonderful job. Just a touch on that chin there. See, I've got plenty of residual. That's better. All right, happy with that. Let's rinse off and do our alum test. Lots of slickness here. This is a good soap. Worth a try. Those in Aussie. All right, I'll just moisture. Just some minor tingles around the neck. Just a little bit under the jawline where I did a couple of extra passes. Everywhere else is fine. Happy with that. Okay. Just rinse that off and then uh, 
to lift up your leather, leather on the face. There's a post shave moisturizer. And there's quite a lot left. I'll gather up as much as I can. Squeeze it out. Enough for a couple more passes. Yep, and there's still a little bit more in the bowl. Look at that beautiful leather. And slickness wise, well, it's slick, very slick. Oh, put this on my face, clean up the bench, go and have a shower. Well, I had a wonderful shave. It's very smooth. Feels wonderful. No weepers or creepers or irritations that I can see. So we'll get straight into the post shave. We've got the Imperial Bergamot aftershave lotion with some crystal, menthol crystals. Which will give it a shake because of the crystals. It's not a lasting scent, it's just a, a refreshing splash, that's about it. Um, and then we're going with the Natio Aftershave Balm. Give that a shake as well. And the final ingredient is the Melissa Umo Beta Bar. Oh, it's very nice. Sort of a grassy green. See? And that's nice. That's my shave of the day. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.